let's talk about the flow grappling curse. Betty Potter bought some For those who don't know what flow grappling is, they provide extensive coverage on jujitsu competition, events, and news. They offer live streaming of major tournaments, including IBJJF Worlds, ADCC, and other prestigious events. They are also known to absolutely piss off their user base by charging a years long subscription that costs a left testicle and constantly has their streams go down. When do they go down? Well, they go down during these very large prestigious events. So what is the flow grappling curse I speak of? Well, to put it short, right after flow grappling makes an extended documentary on an up and coming jujitsu athlete, they seem to immediately lose, get injured or fall off as a top level competitor. Don't believe me? Let me lay out my proof. Exhibit A. Nikki Rod uh, had a, the flow grappling documentary, The Black Belt Slayer, came out in July of 2020. After Nikki Rod began practicing jujitsu in 2018, he won the 2019 ADCC East Coast Trials with less than two years of jujitsu experience, and then the following year took second at the 2019 ADCC World Championships. Once this documentary came out, guess what happened? Well. He lost the first round at the Third Coast Grappling Tournament against Roberto Jomingo. Exhibit B, Levi Jones. Levi Jones's The New Guard came out June of 2020. After some incredible wins and in beating legend Lucas Lepre, Flo decided to make a documentary about Levi. Well, what happened? After the doc aired, Levi kind of just stopped competing and has not been at the same top level competition setting since. Exhibit C, Andrew Wiltsey. An American Jiu Jitsu story came out February of 2021. This documentary featured Andrew, who soon became a beloved member of the BJJ community. He also ended up winning Purple Brown Belt Worlds. What happened right after this documentary aired? Well, he didn't lose, but instead got a pretty nasty back injury that has kept him out since. Exhibit D, Giancarlo Spaghettioni. Becoming Dangerous came out in January of 2023 after Giancarlo became the ADCC 88 kilogram 2022 champion. This prompted Flo to make a documentary highlighting Giancarlo's rise. You know what happened right after? He immediately lost to Pedro Modingo. Exhibit E, Tynan Dolphin. <laughs> Uh, the new guard came out May 2023. After going on a fucking 9,000 match win streak, Flo decided to finally make and release a documentary right before IBJJF Worlds. So what happened? Did he win? Of course not. In conclusion, Flo Grappling must have also made a documentary about me because I've been absolutely getting shit on recently and I'm convinced this is a real thing and not an absolute conspiracy coincidence. I don't know everyone, it's just something to continue to keep an eye on.